so I have a bag that can actually fit my custom PC inside. Yes, guys, this is the crazy Pro Gear GTR1 tactical rucksack bag. So a few weeks ago, I was contacted by a company named Crazy Pro Gear. They approached me and wanted me to do a bit of a review on this backpack. Unfortunately, their Kickstarter ends in roughly two days time. So they said, just get out what you can. So this video is going to be a quick overview showing you guys what is involved with this bag. I only just received it today myself, so I haven't had a look inside myself. However, I have seen videos and this is gonna be more of a first look and impressions. As I said, I can fit that crazy custom PC inside. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you can fit in here, what compartments there are, what material there is, and the value of space inside. I also want to note about who this bag is for because it is certainly for a niche audience who are looking to carry larger items which you could not normally carry on your back. For instance, for us, we go to a lot of events such as Computex and things like that. So this is absolutely excellent. And this is why I said yes to it. This is excellent for all of our video camera footage and camera gear, tripods, things like that, which we would need two hands and an extra bag to usually carry. So this is going to serve us good use in the future. So I've got a lot of compartments to go through, a lot of different connections. So Let's get into it. So this bag is made from a water resistant grade nylon. It is nice and sturdy and it also has a lot of Velcro straps around the externals of the actual bag itself for different mounting. So you can have say things like GoPro mounts and everything around the outside of the bag. Really good for carrying extra stuff if you do manage to fill up all of the airspace within this bag. GTR1 stands for One Giant Tactical Rucksack. I really like the naming behind that. The bag stands 23 inches high, 23 inches wide, 11 inches in depth, and that could be furthered to another 5 inches by opening an extra zip Hence why we are able to fit a large computer case inside. The bag itself weighs six pounds or 2.7 kilos, and it can hold up to 70 pounds or 32 kilos. That's pretty much all of the details you really need to know. It is made of some good stuff and you can carry a small human inside. Now the bag is surrounded by lots of clips on each section to help protect the bag. The reason is, they put it around all of these zip areas and it helps hold everything in place. So for more protection, they've included that. Now every section does come with adjustable straps, so it fits any shape and size. And of course you do have padding on all of these straps here as well. So you're not going to be hurting your shoulders or your back. For the front pockets, we need to open this strap here and then we have full access to this slot here. So. If we open this up, you can see that we do have a small space to fit something like a tripod, for example. Our second pocket, we have a little more room in this one, so you can fit some bulkier items. Again, you can fit tripods, and you also have access to some small pockets on the inside, and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. So there's quite a bit of room inside for you to fit those larger items. Our next pocket is even larger. This is around the outside right here, and we will open that up all the way. And that gives us access to the full length of the bag. We also have these little pockets here for extra storage, helps protect them, keep them in place, and a large one down the bottom. Now our larger pocket goes all the way around the bag and opens up to the main compartment. Now to access this, you have to unclip all of the side straps, which are keeping it in place. Open it up and we are greeted with a soft carrying case inside. By the way, this bag does come with different accessories, depending on what you want to order. Comes with a soft carry case, a hard carry case, and of course, you also get some dividers, so if you wanted to sort out camera gear or anything in a different rotation, that is completely up to you. 
The bag itself does have some padding on all walls, so everything's gonna be kept nice and safe. And we do have internal strapping to make sure everything is safe. And of course you can tighten everything down with these little straps here. So right here in front of us, we do have our soft shell carry case, which helps to add a bit of protection to our computer case when we have it inside. So I'm gonna go ahead, open that up and demonstrate how much room we actually have. Each wall is padded as well in this case, so it adds a lot more protection. Right here, I do have the Fractal Design Meshify C case, which I'm going to demonstrate how it fits in right now. So this is actually quite a small case and we have plenty of room on each side to play with. Uh, as I said, it can fit my custom PC inside. So we've got lots of room here. You can see I've got about this much gap on this side, this much gap on that side, plenty up the top and down the bottom as well. So I'm just demonstrating with a spare case that I have that you can fit your PC inside. So you go ahead and zip everything up just like so. See so computer case is inside the soft carry bag. You want to bring these straps out to the outside so the computer's not sitting on them. And then put your soft carry case inside the actual bag. Again, I actually have additional room on each side of the soft carry case, so there's even more room to fit a bigger PC inside. Now what you want to do is you want to grab your straps and you can strap this in so it's nice and safe. So we'll put that in and then of course we tighten it up like so, so it's nice and tight. And then we can go ahead and close this bag up. There we go, I've just fit a full computer sized case inside of this. So what else can we actually do with this bag? So as well with this bag, we got some little inserts that you can put in to create your own dividing sections in this bag. This is perfect for things like filming equipment, cameras, and other sorts of tech like drones and things that you want to separate into different compartments and keep them nice and safe with these nice padded walls. And of course it does have the surrounding outside of the padded soft bag and of course the bag itself. So guys, I've pretty much shown you everything you really need to know about this backpack. It's good quality and of course it has lots of space which ultimately is the end result that they were trying to achieve. Now this backpack is not for everyone. It is for those who travel with a lot of stuff. For instance, me going to Computex or anyone going to a LAN event who doesn't want to physically carry their PC. Instead, they can put it on their back. So there is a small targeted audience here and I can certainly see why this backpack should exist. Now I'm not getting paid at all for this video. This is a free video for the guys over at Crazy Pro Gear. I just really love the idea of this backpack and I think that it would serve me well when I'm going to events like Computex or LAN events or PAX. So I've got the backpack on now. It is a big backpack. It's certainly not for your, you know, going to school or everyday tasks. It's more made for events and LANs. So here's what it looks like at the back. Now, of course, going through doorways, you do hit the sides of the doors, but I'm sure for the convenience of having a backpack like this, it is certainly worth it. Anyway, guys, I was on a very tight time delay. This did only arrive yesterday, so I have literally one day to film this, get it out to you guys, so I did a quick overview. I can't say it is a proper review because with a proper review, I use the item for a period of time, so I get a good feel for it. But first impressions, it feels nice and comfortable. It fits my computer in there, nice and comfortable, and it fits a lot of my photography gear. So that's what I would be using it for. That's what I can recommend it for. They have a Kickstarter down below. If you wanna support it, they have already passed their goal. So a lot of people have received this bag very well. If you guys are keen on supporting it, you will receive different sort of sets of the GTR1 backpack. Uh, they've got, you know, ones with hard cases, uh, depending on how much that you want to support it for. I do think it is a good cause to support anyway. 
Anyway, guys, that'll do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was a bit over the shop, but hopefully good enough for you guys to get an idea of this bag. Consider liking, subscribing, checking out more videos on the channel, just like this one, lots of custom PCs, reviews, modding tutorials, and much more. And we'll see you guys in the next one.